What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. There is a lot of drama surrounding um, Tina Mom 2 star Kaylin Lowry per usual but it's especially odd right now because she's on vacation with all of her children and her nanny of course and you would think that she would be enjoying that and she's actually even got her Teen Mom 2 co-star Leah Messer with her. So you would really think that she would be enjoying the Dominican Republic but of course Petty Betty can never go anywhere without you know being miserable. Listen when you're a miserable person no no matter where you're going, no matter how much money you have, no matter who you're with, you will always find a way to be miserable. So instead of enjoying her vacation, what is Kale doing? First of all, there was news that broke a couple of days ago that there was another alleged domestic violence incident between Javi and Lauren. And so Petty Betty decided to take it upon herself to go live on Instagram and basically make the incident about herself is what I should say. You know, she's like, people were always still trying to hold me accountable for stuff I did 10 blah, blah, blah years ago to you or whatever um, and they're trying to act like she's Mother Teresa over here and that's not the thing. Clearly she doesn't care that Lauren may or may not have assaulted Javi. You know, all she cares about is the fact that this still hangs over her head and she's really emphasizing the 10 or something years ago as if she literally did not just a couple of months ago get charges against her dropped for her own alleged domestic violence incident with Chris Lopez, right? She also talked about how she had been going through Javi's text messages and saw Lauren referring to her as Carl and stuff. And again, it's like, you know what, Kale, you made it such a big deal in your marriage and in a couple of seasons of the show that your husband was never to look at your phone, your text messages, your anything while you were allegedly cheating with Chris Lopez. So why is it now that like you guys are just co-parents at this point and this is like the third or fourth time that we're hearing from you directly that you have gone through this man's phone. It's weird, right? So anyway, most recently, yesterday, she was on Instagram doing a Q&A and of course, she had to continue to drag her baby daddies into the mix and she even referred to one of her baby daddies who I'm gonna assume, and I think most of you as well assume, is Chris Lopez, the one that she's currently on the outs with, a roach which in my opinion is a bit of a self drag because it's like, okay, well you're gonna call this man a roach. Does that mean that you like to screw roaches? Does that mean that your kids are half roach? Like, do you not understand the implications of what it is that you're saying? And not only that, but I myself, am not American, but I understand American culture enough to know that there are a lot of racial undertones to what it is that she's sad. And it just goes to continue to show you that she does have a very serious issue when it comes to race. So let's back things up at the beginning of her Q and A. One of the questions asked her, would you take a family vacation with Javi since co-parenting is going good? And she responded with, yeah, I think so. Alongside a photograph of their son, um, Lincoln Marshall and um, her other son, Isaac Rivera as well. How interesting that she would like to go on a family vacation with Javi. And Javi, being a bird like he is, would probably take her up on it even though for years, because Lauren was in the picture, she treated his other child like complete S-H-I-T. You know, she's always painting this image of this like perfect blended family with like Joe and V and stuff, conveniently forgetting that um, you know, there is another child in the middle of, you know, this chaotic family situation whose name is Eli. And because she doesn't like the mother, she doesn't include him in anything. And Javi has sat by and allowed this to happen all this time. And now you see that because he may or may not be banging her again, she wants to go on a vacation with him, which would probably mean that their kid's coming along and he is totally fine with that. I, it couldn't be me, but I digress. Now moving on to the cockroach situation. Someone asked what happened at the Airbnb um, on her coffee convos podcast kale talked about how there were cockroaches in her airbnb in the dominican republic which to me i'm like okay you're in like a pretty tropical location like it can happen right it doesn't mean that the place is dirty or anything like that in fact this is a little bit off topic you guys but something that was just so ignorant of her and her co-host Lindsay as well um they go oh like in the dominican republic there's like uh, no screen, screen doors to keep like the bugs out or whatever. Like they know they're gonna be getting tourists, especially American tourists, so they should like install those sorts of things in their Airbnb or not have an Airbnb, which is just so wild to me that they're expecting people from other countries to 
bend to the way that they're used to living in the United States when they go visit to this country. It's crazy, but I digress. Anyway, so um, she posted a photograph of the cockroach and she said, it seems as though one of my baby fathers showed up, so we got up out of there. Petty Betty, this is the girl who's always talking about how she's in therapy. She's been in therapy since last October. She's doing amazing. Everybody else is a problem. Like she has really worked on herself and been introspective. Here she is. This is who she always has been and who she always will be. But I am not going to feel bad for Chris Lopez because she has had a very long history of posting things like this against her baby daddies whenever she's upset with them. She's also made a lot of like thinly veiled racist comments towards her baby daddies and you know, just outright racist things on Twitter as well and what she's retweeted um, and what she's like favorited or liked over the years as well. And this man knew all of that with her being a public figure and he still proceeded to have not one, but two children with her. So I'm definitely not about to feel bad for him, you know, on his behalf. He could have saved himself and he chose not to. I feel like a lot of people are really outraged on behalf of Chris and I genuinely do not understand why. With all the information that was already out there about Kale, he knew what he was walking into, okay? And I feel like Lauren gets the opposite reaction. A lot of people are like, well, you know, it's too bad. Javi was always cheating. She knew that when she got with him. He was saying that she was like the backup, but she still had his baby. Why can't we have the same energy for Chris. Chris knew who Kale was all this time and he still proceeded. So moving along in the rest of her miserable shenanigans, someone else asked her, would you consider changing Lux's last name so him and his brother will have the same? She responded with, the judges ruled on Lux and Creed's names so that's how they are staying. Lux's full name is Lux Russell Lowry and then Creed's full name is Creed Romello Lowry Lopez. She tried to get the Lopez drop from Creed's last name but the judge said, I, I, I'm tired of seeing your ass in here. We're keeping this name as it is. And um, thank God for that. She needs to be more prudent about who she is procreating with instead of wasting the court's time with her petty shenanigans. Someone else asked, does it sting a little that only one son has your last name? She claims that two do, but listen, one of them is hyphenated. One of them has her last name. She knew what the person was asking. So again, she reiterates something that she said in the past, which is, I definitely wish I gave Isaac my last name, being as though Joe and I were not married, but it is what it is. I agree with her on that. I personally do not understand and why women do not give kids their own last names. You know what I mean? Like if you're married and that's your new last name, sure, give your kid that last name. And if you're unmarried, give your kid your last name. You're the one pregnant with the kid. You're the one nursing the kid. You're the one birthing the kid. You're the one with the postpartum body from the kid. Like it's you, run the show. I think she's a thousand percent right on that. And I'm so glad to see that that outdated tradition of just giving a child the father's name for tradition's sake is starting to kind of fade out. Then someone else asked her about like her baby daddy's allegedly calling her names. And so she stitches to conversations that she had with I guess two different baby daddies how wild is it that this girl under 30 has four kids by all these different men to the point where she could paste different conversations and you got to wonder is this all from the same guy which two guys could it be out of the three guys that she's got you know like it's crazy so anyway the first thing says f you hell that was from one baby daddy um but here's the thing, she didn't show her side of the conversation. She very well could have been swearing at this person as well. Like we don't know what she did. And we've seen her over the years on television. So we know that she's not exactly like, you know, uh, Martha Stewart over there sitting around and getting cursed out for no reason. And then the second baby daddy who is confirmed Chris Lopez, by the way, he confirmed so himself on his own Instagram page, um, told her, listen, you are getting the kids Saturday. So please cut your SHIT, go be a CUNT to someone else. When he claimed that text message as his own, he said, and I quote, even though I said that about three weeks ago, I shouldn't have said it, even if you're acting like one or not. And what's really ironic about this is that just before that in the slide, literally preceding that, he said that he has a therapist that he sees every week and one that he sees every couple of weeks. How funny is that? Like him and Kale are two peas in a pod, I swear to God. All this, I go to therapy, I go to therapy, this, that, the other, just to speak like this to the mother and father of your child and to post it publicly. Are you not embarrassed? <laughs> Um, and then Chris also said that he knew who the other baby daddy was, but I'm believing that the first one was probably Javi, but I feel like he was being playful and Kale was kind of trying to turn it into something that it's not. Because listen, they are on good terms right now and she claimed that those things were recent. So I don't really believe that it would have come from Javi at this point, especially with him hopping on her live so that they could both go in on Lauren. It just wouldn't make sense. And I personally don't believe that Joe Rivera is the type to speak to her like that, you know, in this current iteration of himself. 
old Joe definitely would have, but this current Joe, no, I just don't see it. Anyway, you guys, as the world turns in the chaotic, miserable life of Petty Betty, aka Kaylin Lowry from Teen Mom 2, what do you think about all the drama that she's gotten herself wrapped up in, in the midst of her Dominican Republic vacation? Make sure to let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.